conjunction, what's my function? All right, true or false? The secretaries of state for the past five Republican presidents are supporting President Obama's new nukes treaty with Russia. All the last five Republican presidents, all the last five Republican presidents, all their secretaries of state are publicly lobbying Republicans for President Obama's position on the START treaty. Is that true or is that false? False. But if you did think that was true, you have a really good excuse for why. Henry Kissinger, George Shultz, James Baker, Lawrence Eagleburger, and Colin Powell all signed on to a Washington Post op-ed this week saying, hey, Republicans, ratify President Obama's nukes treaty with Russia. We know he's a Democrat and you hate that, but we're Republicans and we're saying you really ought to do this for the country's sake. At the end of the op-ed, the Washington Post helpfully notes in italics, they say, quote, the writers were secretaries of state for the past five Republican presidents. They, in fact, were all secretaries of state for the past five Republican presidents. But they weren't all of the secretaries of state for the past five Republican presidents. The last Republican president was George W. Bush. His last secretary of state was Condoleezza Rice. And Condoleezza Rice didn't sign it. Condoleezza Rice is definitely not signed on to this ratify the treaty Washington Post op-ed effort thing. Why isn't she? Well, we called her office yesterday at the Hoover Institution at Stanford to find out. The press office there told us they don't use phones. Seriously, that's what they told us. Uh, but then an aide to Dr. Rice told us on the phone that Dr. Rice was asked to sign on, sign on to that op-ed, and she decided not to. The aide did tell us that Dr. Rice thought it was a well-written op-ed, but the aide also told us Condoleezza Rice has been working on the treaty behind the scenes, and she will only make a public comment about it at some undisclosed future time that she deems appropriate. So although it went quite largely unnoticed, Condoleezza Rice is not part of the emeritus Republican juggernaut in favor of signing that nuke treaty this week. And that apparently is on purpose, she tells us. It is on conspicuous yet mysterious purpose. Is it going to make a difference in whether or not the treaty gets passed in this conspicuous, mysterious, unpredictable time in Washington right now? Stay tuned for that.